the Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And we're going to just look at this verse. Excuse me. For God so loved you that he gave his only begotten Son. Begotten means one of a kind, unique. That's Jesus Christ. There's only one Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave Jesus Christ that whosoever believeth in him should not perish. If you will believe in Jesus Christ that he died for your sin and be truthful, truthful about it, you can be saved and not perish, that is, going into the flames of hell and ending up in the lake of fire, like those people in Revelation 20. Read it again. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Jesus Christ shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3.36 He that believeth on the Son, that means he that believes in Jesus Christ and believes in Him and is saved, hath life, everlasting life. And he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. I've got two verses left. This one here explains who helps you along in your sin and in your unbelief of Jesus Christ. Revelation 20.10 And the devil that deceived them, them is you if you're not saved. The devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. And then the last verse that I'm going to say is the verse after John 3.16, For God so loved the world. Okay. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him shall be saved. So, remember, it really, it tears me up when I think about people lifting up their eyes being in hell. I, oh, I've said it this way before, and this is happening all over the country every day. <coughs> Go down this one block that usually has older people in it, and there's a widow lives in a house, and her son and grandson mowed the yard because she's going to have some of her friends from a, a club they're in over and they're going to have lunch together. So she's been cleaning the house and they've been cleaning the yard and the bushes and everything and everything's just spotless. And when you go in the house, it's immaculate. Everything is in the right place. It's all dusted. You walk into the kitchen and there's four pies in the window. The window is up and those pies are cooling in the window and there's there's four placemats and dishes on the table. And the sweet old lady is out on the porch in the cool of the day and she is rocking and reading the paper. And she's got her glasses on and she's rocking and reading the paper and all of a sudden her glasses fall the paper falls and she slumps in the chair and in hell 
she lifts up her eyes. I got to get a hold of myself. And that's, that is happening all over this world. Not only in the United States, but other countries too that don't that that aren't believers and that rips my heart out I'm gonna pray with you right now as soon as I can gather myself and I'm going to ask God to save your soul so pray with me all right if you want to be saved, now's the time to do it. You don't have to close your eyes, but if you want to, that's fine. Just follow me. Father in heaven, for, forgive me for my sin. I believe that Jesus, through faith, died for my sin forgive me father for my sin come into my life come into my heart and save my soul make me a new person and I love you and I thank you for saving my soul help me to change to a better person help me to know that I'm saved I'm trusting in Jesus Christ as my Savior because he died in my place for my sin in Jesus name I pray amen forgive me for crying it's real and hell is a, is a real place. The lake of fire is a real place. Real place. And you're going to live in one of the other. Heaven or hell for eternity. And eternity is an ending. It's never ending. And eternity has your memory and the worm that dieth not. It's an awful. I can't words don't even describe what it's going to be like and i pray that you did mean business with god and you did get saved and i'm going to leave you now and i hope if you're a little confused just watch this again i meant for it to be clear and i didn't mean to be emotional but remember i'm a real old man and i have a passion for you just like God does. Good day. I don't know. We'll find out. <laughs>